Sure, I do. Yeah, start back at a, whatever you was reading. It don't matter. Just uh, that last scripture you was reading. Just start at the top of that. Jeremiah 16, verse 11. Then shall thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, says the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, that you done worse than your fathers. Now these motherfuckers out here is evil. He thought that generation before us was wicked, or the generation now is even worse. But each different generation, it gets worse and worse. We thought shit was bad when we was kids. Look at these little bastard children running around now. Bunch of little bastards. Bunch of evil little demons. I see these little foul little children. I just want to punch them in the face and kick them like a like a kick them like a football or a soccer ball. Yeah, don't you got a man? Yeah, I do, but he's over at 16-bit right now with his friends, so we're gonna probably meet up for poetry next night. <laughs> poetry. That sounds kind of gay. Sounds kind of gay. <laughs> Actually, it sounds kind of cool. Yeah. I used to have, uh, is it one of the private, private poetry houses? Yeah. Um, it's just over at the coffee shop. Oh, okay. oh, coffee, coffee shop. shop. Y'all sound like some real trendies. <laughs> Not really, I'm just obsessed with coffee. And Coffee is a good drug. Actually, we started dating because well, he loved me for a long time, but <laughs> I finally admitted my feelings actually through a poem. Oh, uh, how touching. So, you could say all you want. <laughs> Didn't you say you was making a play or something? Yeah. Yep. What's your favorite music? You let us know when it's done so we can look at it. I don't know. Um, you like Mary Poppins? <laughs> <laughs> Annie. Annie's good. There's a French one that I've been wanting to watch. I like that jacket. Thank you. She had Lance Corporal. I got it over at Cousins. I, I feel kind of blasphemous like wearing it like this, but you know. That's a Marine Corps Alpha. I was in the Marine. I just had to wear it. Is that what that is? That's the Alpha. That's the, which, the whatever that is. Oh, okay. Well, Jimmy used to wear. He used to wear some British. Yeah, he wore that colonial type shit. Yeah, we always. He thought he, yeah, he looked like Beethoven or something. He made it look fly. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy has style in his shit. He made it look good. Yeah. You know Jimmy. You know Jimmy Hendrix, right? Yeah. You know he's an Israelite. You ever see the? You ever watch Woodstock? He was wearing a uh, fringes with a border of blue on Woodstock. You seen that? And the Bible says that Israel's supposed to wear fringes with a border of blue. That's just the spirit when you watch that Woodstock video. He got his fringes. Just like, because his grandma was a, I believe she was a Cherokee. You know, the Native American Indians were, uh, were Israelites. I think I might have said something last week. They found all types of artifacts right here in Ohio. Uh, uh, written in ancient Hebrew. Like they found the Ten Commandments right here in Ohio, written in ancient Hebrew script. Uh, was that over at Topper? Or, I'm not sure exactly where. But you got Ohio's I studied a, Topper for a little while. Ohio's so like a really South Carolina. Well, Ohio's a real spiritual place. You got the Serpent Mounds down, in, uh, going down south. You know about the Serpent Mound? Mm -hmm. There's Indian mounds all through Columbus. Yeah, it's really fascinating. Uh, there's an Indian mound off of McKinley. We gotta go up there on McKinley, on oh, the yeah. west side. Yeah, yeah. We got a giant we Indian mound. We do that for a yeah, we need to go up there. Hey, let's get that script here. We'll go, uh, which one? Ezra, 13, 14, uh, far away land. You got a pocket? I just got these home. I got it, I got it. Spaz. Oh, man. Look at my pocket. Oh, I'm stepping on it. Here, you know where that's at? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got, you got a pocket? Yeah, I left that. You know about this? Got one though. Yeah, we talked about it last time. Oh, okay. Yeah, this tells you about the how the lost, now the, well, the so-called lost tribes, about how they left the land of Israel, came to a faraway land, which is America. Uh, started a. Just started forty, right here. If you can see it. And she passed a discus thrower. A discus thrower? She was a high school athlete or something. 
you don't get built like that, man. Yeah. Just sitting around. She got a good diet and she was at working out one time. Look at that, man. That's crazy. What are you talking about? Right there, see? Oh, that girl. Oh, yeah. She's a, every day. She was, a, she was an athlete. Uh, second Ezra is she a boxer. Like 13, Playing volleyball. 13 versus 40. Never those are the 10 tribes. The 10 tribes. You know there's 12 tribes, right? 13 including the tribe of Levi. Because they were originally not considered a whole tribe. They were the priests. And they had little Levi's lived with each tribe. Uh, but keep going. Which was carried away, carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osiah, the king whom Solomon was. Solomon, sorry. Yeah, that's the king of Syria. Keep going. The king of Syria, uh, Syria led away captive and he carried them over the waters and so came them to another land. Sorry, I gotta catch this bus. Thank you guys. It's all good. Oh, we keep going for the camera. Keep going. But they took this council among themselves that they would leave the multitude mar the mar the mar the mar of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Yeah, so this time they said they're gonna go to a further country where mankind never dwelt. We know that's talking about the Americas. Because there was already people in Europe, all right? Because during the time of King Solomon, which was a couple hundred years before this, the Bible tells you the Israelites was in Spain up in Tarshish. They was already in Greece. This don't mention nothing about that? Yeah, what? This is what he's reading. It talks about how they going into the faraway land. Yeah, I'm talking about your good friend. I don't know who you read off. Just keep going. But yeah, we know there was already people living in Europe. Because uh, they, they say uh, uh, King Solomon was mining uh, tin and stuff up in England and Ireland. They had ships going to England, Ireland, and all that. So there was already people living through there. You know what I'm saying? There was already people up in Asia. There was already people up in the Caucasus region. Uh, I always switch camera. Uh, take that camera after you get done reading. He need a break. Uh, that they, that they, uh, that they might there keep the statues which they never kept in their own land. And they enter into your Euphrates by the, the narrow passage of the river. That's right. Oh, yeah, the Euphrates, yeah. That's the, what, yeah, you got the two major rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. That's why that was called, the land was called Mesopotamia, the land between the two rivers. Meso means in between, Potamia means a river. <laughs> like you in the Ohio, then we got the Potomac River, that's close, that means river. Well, wow, keep going. Well, the most Where's high the Potomac River? What the hell is that? I can't remember. Keep going. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half. A year and a half. You see, people try to say, uh, this is talking about the Israelites going through the Caucasus Mountains. It don't take a year and a half to walk up to Asia or up to Russia. It don't take that long. You know what I'm saying? It's a long ass journey. Keep going. And the same region is called Az Azareth. Azareth. And actually, when you break that word Azareth down, it goes back to the Hebrew word Arataza, which means the earth. But it really means a far away land. Because Arataza can mean, uh, it, can, it means earth or land. So this is saying they went to a place called the far away land, which is America. The land where mankind never dwelt. All right. What was that movie? Let yeah, me get that. Let's, let's take that camera. Right back. Back. Let's get that. Yes, what movie was that? That was, uh, you give him that uh, camera. Uh, Christopher Columbus, uh, Conquest of Paradise. Okay. And movie, one too. There's that movie with J J J Gerard the Parrot Dude, whatever his name is. Yeah, that was a Christian. Yeah, French he, dude. Yeah. Yeah, French. That's yeah. a French man. Yeah. Uh, he's a good actor, too. Yeah, he's a pretty good actor. Mm -hmm. Club, yeah, he, he made Christopher Columbus look good. You sure the fuck <laughs> But uh, yeah, they mentioned that, they quoted a scripture in that Christopher Columbus movie, and he was saying that he already knew the land was already over there because of Ezra's. He so, was a so-called Jew that had access to the library. So when they said, uh, when Christopher Columbus came to America, he had a map. He already knew this shit was over here. Okay, nobody thought the world was flat. That's nonsense. Nobody ever thought the world was flat. Only the dumbest of the dumbest ever thought that. That's just lies, man. It's all lies. The, the book of Isaiah says the earth was, a, they called it the circle of the earth. 
or even the astronomer uh, Ptolemy. Y'all know about the astronomer Ptolemy? I think he lived in the first century AD, something like that. He, uh, he said the earth was contained inside of a bunch of spheres. And that's a spheres a circle. So they've been known the earth was round. Nobody ever thought the earth was flat. That's just lies. Christopher Columbus didn't think he was going to India. He knew damn well where he was going. With the Pinta Santa, what's up, folks? The Pinta Ninas, Santa Maria, St. Mary. And Christopher Columbus was a so called Jew. He wasn't Spanish and he wasn't Italian. He was a Jew motherfucker, a, a goddamn Edomite. And, uh, and the Pope during that time, Christopher Columbus, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. In the same year, Pope Alexander VI became Pope. The Pope Alexander VI is the father of that devil. Cesar Borgia, right? And you can get on Wikipedia and look up, get on Wikipedia and look up a picture of uh, Pope Alexander VI. You'll see he got that big ass hook nose. The obvious fucking devil, the so-called Jew, the Edomite, the Amalekite, a rat. Oh, oh yeah, get that. Okay. Uh, yeah, because King Solomon. Well, first of all, David conquered the whole earth, pretty much, and he was king of the earth, and he was selling. He was selling over to the Americas. He was selling to Spain. He was selling all over the earth, gathering minerals and resources. Holy Yet, crap. holy shit. Keep he, he going. <laughs> he freaked out. <laughs> Go ahead. This is 1 Kings uh, 9 and 26. And King Solomon made a navy of ships in a Zion Garb Geber, which is beside Elon on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom. He said, oh, the Red, this is key right here. Another good point too, the Red Sea by the land of Edom. So the re, when you look up, originally the Red Sea, like in the book of Exodus, when the Israelites crossed through the Red Sea, it was not called the Red Sea. It was, in the Hebrew, it was the Reed, or Sawaf, I think is how it said, Sea. The Reed Sea, not the Red Sea. But you see, the, the, the name Red Sea comes from Edom because the, the nation of Edom and Petra, modern day Petra Jordan is right beside the Red Sea. So the Red Sea gets its name from Edom. Because Edom was a, a seafarer too. Okay, he, was going, he was getting on ships going through the Red Sea. You know what I'm saying? Going through the Mediterranean. Uh, keep going. That's just a little extra information. The Red Sea is called Red because of Esau. Like that Yeah. Cause you'll have some people, it's called the Red Sea because they were spilling blood. It's some all nonsense. People that don't know shit. The red clay. <laughs> that made it red. Yeah, man. And they ain't red. <laughs> stupid shit. It's just stupid shit. I guess the information's put out there just to keep people stupid. Well, I mean, it's true thing for everybody. Right. Obviously. Okay, 20, verse 27. And Haram sent in the navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea, yep. with the servants of Solomon. And they came to Ophor and fetched from this gold 420 talents and brought it to King Solomon. I think that's down in Africa somewhere, ain't it? Ophor? I had looked that up before. I gotta look it up again now that you read that. But I believe it's somewhere in Africa, maybe. I'm not too 100 pop. I gotta look that up. Keep going. Oh, that was it. Oh, there was, where's the part that says Tarshish? Yeah, that's what, actually what I was looking for. Yeah. It might hold up. It might be in the next, the next chapter. Because even uh, King Jehoshaphat tried to go back to Tarshish. And it, the most high sunk all the shit. Oh, it's right here. Like I said. Oh, okay. okay. Next all right. Okay, this is a uh, 10 and 20 one. And all King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was nothing accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king had a sea, a navy of Tarshish. Navy of 
Read that again. Hold on. That's so loud. Read that again. <laughs> Verse 22. For the king had a, at sea a navy of Tharshish with the navy of Aram. Once in three years came the navy of Tharshish bringing gold and silver, ivory and eggs and peacocks. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. Right, because I'm sure they was posted up right there in Spain. It's Tarsus of Spain, right? That's what it says, Tarsus, right? Mm -hmm. Tarsus of Spain, which is also known as uh, uh, Iberia. And that comes from the word Eber, which is, comes from Hebrew. Okay, just like Ireland was called Hibernia, which goes back to Hebrew. Even you get the, even the word Siberia in Russia, way up fucking there. And let me add this, when that in the pocket we mentioned um, um, a year and a half journey. Yeah, a year and a half, it takes a while. Right, that year and a half made three years. They went out for three years because they went up and back, three years. Plus they were just going there, coming right back, and took a minute to get that stuff. Yeah, that's why it says right here, for the king had a sea at sea, a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram, once in three years. Because they was posted up right there too in Tarshish in Spain, right by the Straits of Gibraltar. Because if you control the Straits of Gibraltar, you, you got the Mediterranean on lock. Ain't nobody coming in and out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They had it on lock. But, uh, so they knew they'd been coming to America since the days of old. That's amazing shit. It is amazing. You never hear that no history books in the license. And, that, and that's more proof, too, because the Israel already knew it was over there. So that's why you had the Mayans build, building pyramids over there in the Yucatan Peninsula. Because who do you think built the pyramids in Egypt? Israelites. They had that great knowledge of building. That They had the high forms of mathematics and science. So it was only an Israelite to go over there and build some shit like that. You mean that. so the reptilians didn't help them? No, it wasn't the Egyptians either. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the aliens, man. Sorry to crush y'all's dreams. They, no, they were some reptilians, all right. So they are some evil motherfuckers. Israel is a reptilian. <laughs> Especially the Israelite woman. <laughs> they, got <a> new <laughs> <show>. <laughs> they got a new show called Research of Giants. They go around searching for giants. Yeah, 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 yeah. George Snoopalopic yeah. is on there? Uh, 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 whatever the uh, fuck uh, his name is. Person. But yeah, so yeah, with King David, man. <laughs> yeah, King David set up a global empire. And he was navigating the entire globe. He was coming over to the Americas. There's giant copper mines up in, uh, up in Michigan. They got proof that people was up in there uh, 3,000 years ago mining the hell out of that damn copper mine. No, that's crazy. Take it, you know, getting all those that's resources. Crazy. That was crazy. Where do you think they got all this gold and everything that Solomon had? All those resources ain't right there in the land of Israel. They went all around the whole earth and gathered items up. Like I said, it was a three-year journey. Yeah. They was getting right every, every three years, they'd go bring a whole bunch of shit back. <laughs> They took horses and chariots with them too. Horses, chariots. Yep. So they got around. Uh, a wild, uh, exotic animals. You know what I mean? They got here and they got around. And they were faster, they were more in shape. They, they covered more ground quicker. They were real men back then, doing their thing. I have to say, even the Hamites was doing their shit too. Well, they, the, they had, well, they was the, the good shipbuilders. Mm -hmm. But Israel is good at shipbuilding too. And Israel is good at everything. You know what I mean? Them heathens only have one skill. <laughs> uh, oh, was there more to that? Or are you tapped out? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> That's what they give you in America, get some Vikings, your Percocet. I bet all y'all are high on PCP. They all sniffing pills, sniffing Oxycontin. That's what they do. Oh, heroin was big these days. It's on, a, it's on a come up. Fucking police out here. Somebody ran a red light or did a U turn or some shit, but he called him. Fucking faggot ass. That's the only thing a cop, the only thing a cop is good for is robbing you, stealing your property, passing out tickets, traffic tickets. You know, a cop has never stopped a single crime in history, never not once. Yeah, he ain't stopped shit. 
The only thing a cop will stop, they, they, they're camped to save a hoe. The only thing a cop is good for is saving a hoe when she's getting the shit beat out of her for committing adultery. When they should just let the bitch get the shit beat out of her. You know what I mean? Yeah, so fuck the police. We got no love for these cops. The cops would be there quick, they didn't want that. The only time the cops would be in your house with the quickness is to save that goddamn adulterous You know, you know what, I don't care if my daughter is my mama. You know, call me with some shit like that. Don't bother me. They ain't my business. Exactly. You know? Don't bother me with that shit. You need to leave your ma ma uh, man in his business the fuck alone. Right, right, right. Let mother More than likely, that woman provoked that man. Oh, yeah. more than likely she did. Just like that Ray Rice shit. <laughs> right. Hey, there go some women wearing dresses. That's an oddity. It's like I'm in the Twilight Zone when I see that. They look like vampires. Yeah, they do look kind of gothic. There is some vampires out here. These hoes, these vampires, they'll suck your blood. They'll suck you dry. They'll suck your soul dry. Cause they these women are like uh, succubus. How you just a plural form of succubus? Succubi? Yeah, succubi. Sucker bitches. Sucker bitches. <laughs> what were we talking about? Some Solomon? Let me get back on the King David. Like I said, Hey, oh yeah, and people try to say, King David never lived. King Solomon never lived. Well, there's archeological proof that King David lived. Get on the internet, get on Google or Wikipedia, whatever you want, and type in the Tell Dan Stele, if you even know how to spell Stele, okay? These people are so stupid. They'll tell you the Bible's not true, but they can't even spell basic words. Yeah, oh yeah, Google does that, Google does too much for you sometimes. But the Tell Dan Stele, it proves that King David actually existed. It says the House of David in clear Paleo Hebrew writing. And you can't get around it. You know, people, all, people always try to say there's no proof that David ever lived. That shit's all made up. And first of all, another thing too. They can't even do no archaeological digs in Jerusalem. You know that, right? That's one of the oldest inhabited cities on the face of the planet. If you do an archaeological dig, you'd have to kick everybody out. You know what I'm saying? Tear all the houses down and go searching. You can't do that. That just got a highly dense population in one of the, in the oldest city on the earth. Jerusalem's the oldest city on the earth. There's no city older. Okay, that was the Garden of Eden. Right? I mean, it's the oldest city. That's why, the, what's that? Galatians says, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is the mother, not Egypt, not Sumeria, not Babylon, not Mount Ararat, not Armenia. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Yeah, no goddamn Egypt. Now we got to the point now, you talk that Egypt shit, we just gonna kick you in your teeth, man. When the Lord gives us that power, we're going to knock your teeth out. Just like the scripture said, break out the teeth of the young lion. You're going to get your teeth knocked out talking that shit, man. You're going to get left toothless talking that nonsense. What's that scripture that says, cut off their lips? What was that? In Psalms. You know what scripture that is? I'm about to see if I can find it. You're going to get your lips cut off talking that nonsense. Cut your damn lips right off. That shut your ass up. You sounding funny as hell trying to pronounce words with no lips. <laughs> you bring your jacket? We're gonna be cold out here. You thought it was summertime, didn't I thought it was a little warmer. It was warm. Oh yeah. Oh, Mr.
Like he said, if I had not come, so if we never been out here, they would have had to be stupid. You don't tell a fool what he's doing wrong, do you do it? So when the time comes, hey. Oh, hold on, I got a scripture for that, uh, real quick. Uh, go ahead, read that, I got a, I got a pre preset. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had had not sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sin. I got a scripture to back you up what he just said. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 2. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Yeah, I mean, that's the point, right? Yeah, that like you said, uh, um, that these, these, these fools are taught by the precepts of men. Yeah, in their own eyes, they think they're all right. Oh, no. You know what I mean? They think it's okay to celebrate Halloween, they'll justify it, even though it's obviously evil as fuck. But it'll justify it. Obviously. We ain't gotta break that down. I'm dressing up like devils and witches. <laughs> SpongeBob Square Pants. A grown man. Oh shit, man. I was watching. Grown man. Do you have a script you gotta bring out? Grown ass men dressing like uh, Spider Man. Shit. Batman. He got his Ebola mask on. <laughs> CCP. The fucking. They like them dudes right at Police Academy, Citizens on Patrol. <laughs> the movie. <laughs> hey, Citizens on Patrol. <laughs> they, got, they got, you know, the old lady. <laughs> that was my shit. It's a Police Academy. That's the only cops I ever liked was some imaginary cops. Don't get paid. What was you reading? Oh, I got a scripture I wanted to get. I, find it. I always forget where the scripture's at. I know it's early in the song. There's so many songs, you can't remember them all. I'm buying me a massage chair. We have to get you a buy you a massage or get you a mama sign. You have to order you a mail order Chinese bitch or bitch from Okinawa should be that right. I got a scripture I want to bring out. Yeah, see, they got two ways to fucking shit up. This is Psalms 12 and 1. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. There ain't no faithful out here. The godly man ceases. There ain't no godly men. Mm -hmm. It's a very small, it's a, the Lord says a small sanctuary. That's that small sanctuary right here. Very few. The Lord said, uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Uh, when the Apocrypha says, few shall be saved. What's that, Second Ezra's? Yep. Maybe we should get that. It says, uh, they speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. So all these fools out here, they everything you talking about is vanity. It don't mean a goddamn thing. Everything you talking about is dumb as hell, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, don't nothing you think matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. And you don't matter. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart they do speak. Cause you can't trust none of these people. They don't know, these people's word ain't bond. <laughs> My word is bond, son. You can't trust nobody. They never keep their promise. Truce breakers. 
What's that truth breaker? That says that in Romans, though. They're truth breakers. Yeah. Can't keep their promises. They tell you one thing, they do another. Always stabbing you in your back, two faced. All right? It says, The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. So the Lord said, He's going to cut, cut off your lips. He's going to cut your tongue out your mouth. I want to see, see y'all try to talk that bullshit with no lips. Let's see you try to pronounce those blasphemous words with no lips and no tongue. Sounding like a retard. Blasphemous precepts. You sound dumb as hell. I'm going to read that again. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. Everybody likes to speak with a flattering words. They say that we cuss too much. Well, it's always the evil people who use those flattering words when to speak nothing but nice things. The people who speak nothing but nice, smooth, soft words, those are the people that you are not to trust. Okay? Like Obama, all every politician that ever lived, politicians speak nothing but flattering words. All right? All these preachers in these churches stealing your money, they speak nothing but flattering words. Deceitful ass women. The deceitful ass women. So they'll give you that little line, make you feel bad for her. And then she's going to take all your money. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, I need some help. I just need a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, have you commit adultery? These bitches ain't shit. What a weirdo. Creepy nerds. Creepy ass cracker. I don't know what the fuck that other one is. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's a salad. I swear I don't know what the fuck that is. He like a combination from Elam to Elam. He could be a, 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 a Elam. <laughs> e e Edom, Edom trapped in Elam's body. <laughs> right, That's right. what that was. A mess. Yeah. <laughs> a mess. A whole mess. This is Psalms 12 and 3. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speak of proud things. So we got a lot of proud bastards out here. Talking about, oh, the Lord, ain't, God ain't real. You're going to get your lips cut off. Get your tongue cut out your mouth. And then the Lord going to hit your ass with that nuclear missile, and your eyes are going to melt, melt away in your sockets, and your flesh is going to consume away on your bones. And you're going to be turned into a pile of ashes. And you ain't going to be talking shit no more. You ain't going to be blaspheming the Lord no more. And your ass been melted. It said, uh, who have said, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own, who was Lord over us? They're like, well, God gave us free will. And they, they always try to say that, don't they? Ain't no fucking free will. You have no free will. Down in Fraggle Rock. You know, Uncle Traveling Sam. You remember Fraggle Rock? With Gomer, what's his name? Gomer, Gomer, Gomer. I like the little dozer dudes that hate the, uh, the radishes. Not the, no, the fraggles ain't the radishes. I can't fucking remember. You're talking about the things that eat the glass. Well, no, they, they made the glass and the fraggles would eat it. They'd always fuck their shit up. The dozers would build some shit and the fraggles would fuck it up. That bitch over there, she like fucking up the dozers' building. <laughs> Proud ass hoes. Uh, who have said with our lips, excuse me, who have said with our tongue, we will, will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I rise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. So the Lord going to deliver us from all this wickedness and evil, those that puffeth at us. Like the dragon. Like the cops. There's those cops right there. The Lord gonna deliver us from the police. He gonna deliver us from these judges, from this wicked ass government. Judge Dredd. Yeah, that's Judge Dredd right Get him on camera. Judge Dredd right there. That, that's Judge Jury Executioner right there. No, the cops. You ever see the cops? Oh. That's Judge Jury Executioner. <clears throat> yeah. They got free reign to do whatever the fuck they want. That comes to me. The, here's a good scripture. Psalms 12 and 6. The words of the Lord are pure words. 
as silver tried in a furnace of the earth, purified seven times. So every word in this Bible is true, whether you believe it or not. And if you believe it or not, it don't matter because you're insignificant, okay? Most of the people out here is insignificant. They mean absolutely nothing, okay? They're, a, they're actually nobodies. Most people are nobodies, in, insignificant nothings. Their opinions don't matter. What they think doesn't matter. They all, plus everybody in America think they're famous. It is like some kind of uh, mental disorder in America where everybody thinks they're a superstar when you ain't shit. Oh yeah? Oh, it was too. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them for this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Yeah, in America, the vilest, the vilest and filthiest of all people are exalted and praised in America. Okay? Like in America, a faggot to get exalted and praised. They'll, they'll cheer on a faggot when a faggot gets married. You know what I'm saying? Yes, because America's uh, Sodom and Gomorrah on steroids. Do you have a scripture you want to read? Do you want to read something? Uh, well, it's I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to go on to Psalms 13. How long would thou forget me, O Lord, forever? That's what we ask in the most high. How long would thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel of my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? And that's what we saying, you know? That's how we, we, we sorrowful people. If you're not sorrowful, something's wrong with you. Okay, because this is a fucked up place to live. Said, consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Light mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. That's just a song. There's one more scripture. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully bountifully with me. I'm going to keep going to Psalm 14. It says, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So the only a goddamn fool will say there's no God. And you, you get a lot of fools. Half the people come up here and say we're full of shit. They're like, I ain't no God. Where's God at? Show me where he's at. If God's real, he'll strike me down now. Oh, he'll strike you ass down, all right. That's what it, every, you know, these fools are a joke. They all trust in science. So-called science, false science so falsely called. Did y'all see that, that post I posted on Twitter? So who, who's the most famous science they, scientist they teach you in schools? It's Albert Einstein, right? They'll say Albert Einstein is the greatest science. Anytime you think of a genius, they'll, they'll call you Einstein. If you, if you say something, they're like, uh, yo, way to go, Einstein, being a smart ass. You know what I mean? If you say something stupid, or, or they'll call you Einstein. Well, they, they, in America and the whole world, they try to make it look like Einstein is the greatest scientist ever. Now, Einstein was a so-called Jew, a devil, and he was a fraud and a know-nothing. He didn't know a goddamn thing. He couldn't even do basic math. Okay, the real science, the greatest scientist ever was Nikola Tesla, okay? That's the greatest scientist ever. And guess what? Nicholas Tesla believed in the Bible. And guess what? He said his, his mo mother raised him on the Bible. Okay, and guess what? He hated so-called Jews. He said you can never trust a Jew. Because with Jews, you lose. Hey, get down here. Him continuously. Yeah, they robbed him continuously. Get down here. Okay. With Jews, you lose. And another thing, too, is that now these days, who do they say the greatest scientist now is? Stephen Hawking, right? <laughs> Stephen Hawking is a brain dead vegetable. Okay? He has not he has been brain dead for years. He he's not actually talking on that computer. 
He is brain dead. He can't think. He's in pretty much a coma-like state. They just make documentaries with Stephen Hawking. They'll make documentaries and they'll have a so-called Jew program a computer to make it look like Stephen Hawking's talking. Because guess what? They said back in his early days when Stephen Hawking actually could talk, that he, that he said he didn't agree with nothing Einstein even said. So Stephen Hawking is a goddamn brain-dead vegetable. He can't talk. He, he's a goddamn vegetable. And they just using him as a puppet. He, yeah, he's like he's basically not even alive, basically. That all that stuff he's saying, that's a so-called Jew behind there talking. And they're really using him as a puppet. Make this it, is this is all. Because what does he have? He has that disease, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, right? Ain't nobody ever lived that long with Lou Gehrig's disease before. They just had that ice bucket challenge for that shit. You gonna tell me he lived with Lou Gehrig? Man, get the fuck out of here. He's a vegetable. Here you go. This is on. This is example you use Nikola Tesla. Yeah, Nikola Tesla. I was just watching his brother from England video. He made a couple years ago, but I just now seen it for the first time. And he said uh, Nikola Tesla invented the 20th century, and he did. He brought us the radio. Without Nikola Tesla, you would not have radio. Uh, you would not have electricity in your house. Okay, he invented the alternate current, the AC. He invented the modern power plant where your electricity comes from. You know when you all the little electricity plants you see in every neighborhood? That's his shit. Oh, go ahead. He invented, without him there'd be no radio. The cops, you wouldn't even be able to call the police without Nikola Tesla. <laughs> Daniel 1 and 4. Children of whom was no blemish. No well favored and, and skillful in all wisdom, in cunning and knowledge, and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace. Yeah, that's a good point. It's talking about Daniel, right? Yep. The Daniel was a scientist, all right? He, he was a master. He had more wisdom. It tells you he had more wisdom than all the magicians of uh, uh, Babylon. He had more knowledge than all the motherfuckers. And I had, check this out, I actually had people come to me on the internet and they will tell me that mathematics and geometry are of the devil. <laughs> that makes you want to shake your head, man. I'm like, if, if geometry is of the devil, why are you living in a house that was constructed using geometry? Why do you use a computer which uses highly advanced forms of mathematics? And the algebra, algebraic equations. These people literally pull that shit out their ass, man. Since when? If you say mathematics is of the devil, something you're you're you a backwards fucking uh, fool. Jackass, dumb and dumber too. Mathematics is all through the Bible. How they build the temple of the Lord? They got the dimensions and everything right here. They get that the dimensions of the ark, the di and the, the ark, the boat, and the ark of the covenant. There's all kind of math and measurements and stuff in the Bible. So you got some dumb asses out here saying geometry is of the devil. Smack it. Yeah, you need smack for saying some shit like that, man. You, you need some fucking shit slapped out of you. Leave your hand print on your face. Cause who do you think who do you think all, all the great scientists of the earth was always Israelites? Okay, going back to the ancient world. Like you said, Daniel. Daniel lived during the time of the Babylonians. It said he was a, he is he was skilled in science. All right, uh, the ancient the experiment he did when they, uh, they ate the king's meat and he didn't. His he had a few didn't that didn't eat the king's meat. And after I think ten days or so, they were healthier than the man that the motherfuckers that ate the king's meat. A little experiment he did. And just like the time when he was the only one that could interpret the dream. Yep, yep, yep. Because, uh, like I said before, like he just read, I'll tell you, Daniel was skilled in science. Uh, it said King Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived. All right? Uh, the ancient Greeks were Israelites. Uh, all, where, where do you think all the geometry comes from? All of our geometry books that you use today in the schools and everything, they come from ancient Greek manuscripts. The Pythagorean theorem. 
all, all, all this ancient geometry, they all come from the Greeks who are Israelites. You know, Israel is the one who, who preserved all the knowledge and the wisdom. Okay? They, they, I think it was Josephus that tell you how Abraham is the one who brought all the knowledge of astronomy and mathematics to Egypt. The Egyptians didn't know a goddamn thing. I mean, there's more proof than that. I can't think right now. Okay, here you go, right here. Oh. oh, just look at those Mayans and that temples they built in the, the Yucatan Peninsula. That's some amazing shit. That take a mathematical genius to build something like that. Yeah, here's the experiment he did. Oh, just like your boy Benjamin Banneker, how he designed the layouts of Washington, D.C. Yep. That took skill to do that. Well, yeah, mathematics. And he was famous for his, uh, for his knowledge of astronomy. And his uh, uh, farmer's almanacs he printed. Oh, go ahead. Uh, this is Daniel 1 and uh, 10. Yeah, I'll take you one. And the prince of the eunuch said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king who hath appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. Then said Daniel to Melza, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, prove thy servants, I beseech thee ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenance be looked upon before thee, in the countenance of thy children that eat of the portion of the king's meat. And as thou seest, deal with thy servants. So he consented to them in this matter and proved them 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their countenance appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. That that bullshit kids. <laughs> that uh what you call that uh scientific that science shit that uh what's that science company called that uh they're making it uh Monsanto 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 the King had Monsanto and the King had some Monsanto <laughs> and GMOs. Right. GMOs. I mean they was doing wicked shit back then too though mm -hmm. with the meat and the, the crops. And there's a law in the Bible that says you're not supposed to mix diverse seeds together, uh you're not supposed to mix this. You're not supposed to make hybrid plants. You're not supposed to mix different animal kinds together. They cut the apple tree branch off and put it on the pear tree. Apples, you know, the pear tree. Well, just like you're not supposed to mix uh, Israelite seed with heathen seed. This word, this devil done went to the to the microscopic level. Yeah. You know, he's not just dealing with the surface. He went down deeper. And now he's creating uh, viruses in laboratories. Oh, shit, I seen this thing today, a picture. It was a Coca-Cola can. Oh, it was your dude, a uh, kid old. He put a big-ass poster up in France. Oh, yeah. A can of Coca-Cola, but it said Ebola. Hey, and it Ebola. Said, and it said, made in America. Wow. Right, 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 right. I told you, uh, right, right, right. I'm getting a little sick right now, and I know it's because I drank a soda. I drank some pop. That's what you should probably I don't never drink it. You know, that, that's some bad shit. I don't never drink it. System up. You know, I don't never drink that shit, but I just drank some. Drink it when it's warm. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, but this time when this weather changing cold now, I don't never drink that shit, man. Viruses thrive in this cold shit. You know? I don't know what it is, that acid. Is, cause I, I think my body is so used to being in that alkaline state, mm -hmm. you put that acid in there, it fucks you up. It'll get you good too. Yeah. Plus it's it got aluminum, all that acid and with the aluminum can. Take so I thought I was gonna get me a good joke from some caffeine or something. Right. Get wired up on some pop, like, hell, I got sick, man. Yeah. I drink a lot of natural juices. That's what, actually, I used to drink a little, tons of orange juice and water, man. I just started pumping a lot of uh, garlic. 
Oh, yeah, abstract. And, you know, I take it a little bit every day, man. Garlic, vitamin C. This is the time you better do it, man. Cayenne peppers, boy. Bad cinnamon. I got, you know? Oh, I've got a shitload of peppers. I already ran out of them, though. Okay. And the garlic. That's not good right now, too, the peppers. Well, I, I would put all my peppers on my pizza. I make some unleavened bread pizza. I eat it raw. Oh, I got some shit. I got, boy, them motherfuckers is hot. I'm talking about, oh, we had some banana peppers. Plus, we had some, uh. Let's get some flavoring with sauce. I think, what's some other peppers we had some? We have cayenne peppers, too. The other ones, they look like banana peppers, but they hot as fuck. Habanero. Not habanero, I think it's Hungarian or something. Or, uh, I can't remember. They hot as a How big they get? Just the size of banana peppers. But they're hot as fuck. It's some weird pepper. I've never had them before. Yeah, I love them peppers, man. Them peppers are good. Pepper fruit. Oh, you seen that? You seen that video I put up on YouTube? No, I ain't oh, about I about the hot that. sauce. Last year I made with hot sauce. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. But if you get sick, yeah. check this out, bro. If you get when sick, you outside, you do that one? yeah. If you get a stuffed up nose, this shit works. If you get a stuffed up nose, you take some hot sauce and put it right here on the outside of your nose. On each side, right there. That'll open your shit up. You'll be able to breathe. Yeah, the, um, the cayenne pepper uh, tincture I make, I put it on my tongue. On your tongue? It's still pure. You open can your probably shit. put some of that on, on your nose, too. Open. Right on the bridge of your nose, right here. That cayenne pepper is some bad shit. That's some bad shit. Yeah, cayenne pepper, it keep you going, man. I keep me some hot, so I practically... I'm like a, I'm like a Mexican, pretty much. I, I just drink the hot sauce. I got, man, I put hot sauce on my mashed potatoes. I put it on everything. That's some good shit, man. Hot sauce and mashed potatoes is shit. I put hot sauce on my pizza. I put it on everything. What kind of pepper is uh, Tabasco? That's, oh, that's not cayenne. It's Tabasco. I think it's actually Tabasco pepper, actually. I can't remember. What's up, homie? You love America? Are you a great American? Do you love, you love America? Where are you from? I'm just looking around. Not from West Africa, right? Yeah, you got the Ebola? Oh, you got five people from You from America? Yeah. Oh, yeah? From the suburbs. Oh, you from the birds? Raised around white folks, right? Yeah, I can tell you. I do.